Do you do any physical activity or exercise? I don't. I do the normal exercise that most of us should do, like housework and gardening. I'm quite happy to climb a tree and prune it or whatever. I do walk my dog occasionally, but that's about it. Every Monday, I go to an Aboriginal elders group and we go to exercise first, have a break, and then we go to aerobics, water aerobics for an hour. Uh, it's a body balance. It's a little bit easier than yoga, but this including Tai Chi, uh, which is slowly and they give preparation just for full muscles, for flexibility. Well, I'm pretty consistent. Uh, on odd days, you know, one, three, five, seven, I go to the gym, and two, four, six, I go out for long walks. He lies on the floor on a doona, and if I lie with him, he'll stay there. And he does do exercises. He lifts the legs lifts up the and legs stretches. Up and, and, they, they and then he goes from side, side to side. And we do that for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and then it's a battle to get off the floor, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to say. I do um, one of them Tower 2000s every day. You know, the elastic pulls oh, off yeah. on the backs of the doors, yeah. yeah. I play golf, um, and I walk, but I also teach a little exercise class once a week to seniors and it's based on um, low impact aerobic but I base it on a little bit of dance, fun dance, where nobody gets it wrong. I do modern style Tai Chi and I do fast Tai Chi I, and it's, it's a new form of Tai Chi I'm trying to develop so, to inspire interest in others. But what you normally would call exercise, I yeah. do nothing. And why is that? But then, by the time I've done my gardening, washing, ironing, cooking, cleaning, living by myself, that's enough for me. And what is your favourite exercise? None, really. None? I do it because I know I have to do it. Walking is like a dirty word, but I do do it, but I whinge the whole time I'm doing it. He mows the grass, and we've got a big backyard, that mows the grass, does the edges. What else do you yeah. do? Oh, a uh, bit of work on the car, you know, cleaning it. My daughter decided, actually she was looking for something to do, she decided to become an aerobics instructor and said, Mum, how about coming with me and we'll do the course together. Then she ended up getting a great job and I ended up being the instructor. Did you used to exercise more? No. So this is what you've always done? What I've always done, yes. Oh, well, I played netball and softball right up until I was over 40. Um, and then yeah, I gave it away. When I was younger, I did a little bit much more, more aerobic exercise. Played soccer for 40 years, 45 years. I really miss it. But I, and my knees are too bad now, so I can't play that anymore. Um, what do you think might be some of the barriers or the things that stop people from getting involved in physical exercise like, like Tai Chi? Well, yes, when I say the word Tai Chi, or, if, or even if you hear Tai Chi, you will come out automatically with an image of old people in a park doing it very slowly. And that is the image I want to correct because Tai Chi can be fun, can be fast, and it actually does a lot of things for ourselves and for, for, for the people that are around us because we get more relaxed and we're happy and we're healthy. So as a carer, did you find it really hard to actually take time out of your day to do some exercise for yourself? Very hard. Uh, and I suppose the exercise I got was sort of pretty one-sided, you know, lifting and pushing and pulling and stuff like that. None of the gentle exercise that probably would have done me a lot more good. They're a little bit self-conscious and they think they can't do it. When we get, I went to the hydro pool, I quite enjoyed that when I had my shoulder and knee done. With somebody else, it's much easier, I think, than... You go by yourself, you don't know anybody. And you feel embarrassed, feel, I think, yeah. too, going. Yeah. 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 yeah, people find, OK, I haven't got time today. Uh, I might do it next week. Try and walk the dogs every day, but I work shift work at the moment, so I can't every day. But the trouble uh, is I think they're frightened when they get their knee done to, to kneel on it. Yeah, That's the problem. I go down very gently on yeah. my knee. You don't like to upset anything, you know. But I know we need to do it. You know, you get later in your 60s and you think, well, you know, we're only here for one, one time, so we've got to look after ourselves. We have to keep moving. That's what Jane Fonda says. <laughs> and um, our head is a muscle as well. If we don't exercise our mind, 
we will not be able to think anymore. If we don't exercise our body, we will not be able to move. So if we can do it, exercising our mind and our body and our inside internal energy, we will really be moving forever.